If the fire gets to here, it's over. It's, it's too close. All you can do is wait. Up Maxwell Road, Candy Velado pumping water. To fight flames she hasn't seen yet. I'm going to pump these barrels down to barrels down to the house with some kind of illusion that um, <laughs> it will help when the fire gets here. She says there are several issues with this fire that really began a week ago in Reynolds Park, just north of the burn area. One of them is reverse 911, did not work. We never got a call. Candy had cars pointed downhill, her classic 80s Corvette first in line. Up and down Maxwell Hill, residents had vehicles packed and ready. I've got a little valuables in the, in the pickup, and I've got my wallet and so forth in the truck. I'm ready to go. All I got to do is load the cat, and I'm gone. Sleeping bags, I've got shoes, I've got all my clothes in the boat. Bill Moore says they can smell smoke, but haven't seen flames. It's hard to imagine that they got us locked out for nothing. As police turn folks away, most like Bill are packing what they can into whatever they can. A lot of people packed or packed up and left and still got food on the, on the table. There's only a few families left here on Maxwell Hill Road. Most have got their rigs ready to go just in case. So anything that's not insured is going with me and anything that is insured is going to stay because where do you draw the line? Yeah, yeah. You can't take it all with you. Late today, a few families were being escorted up Custer Road for 27 homes and at least two lives were lost. In Conifer, Chad Bowman, Channel 2 News.